Hey guys, welcome to my NBA 2K14 Portland Trailblazers Association on Next Gen Councils. My GM, whatever you want to call it, it's all the same thing really. The reason I'm doing Portland once again is because longtime viewers who watch my NBA videos know that I'm not so great when it comes to keeping a series alive. Uh, I've done so many associations where I just kind of, eh, the will to produce those videos automatically left right when I uploaded the first episode or so. So since I abandoned the Portland Trailblazers in my NBA 2K13 association, why not bring them back, give them a new sign of life on the next gen council with next gen graphics. I was contemplating and doing a New Orleans Pelicans or Phoenix Suns, my GM, but you know, I love everything about Portland. I love the arena, I love their jerseys, I love their players, and I honestly wouldn't mind moving over there and living there when I'm older. So I'm very happy to see that they're doing well this season. They're like a 10 game winning streak right now. Hopefully they get into the playoffs, 6th to 8th seed. Uh, just I hope they don't go against the Spurs because I honestly think if they go up against the Spurs, that's going to be a huge upset for the Spurs considering Portland has a better young power forward at the moment in LaMarcus Aldridge. So right here are just the list of demands the GM has for us, which is win 33 games this season and let CJ McCollum play like 32 plus games with 24 minutes. I don't know if that's going to be possible considering he's going to be coming off the bench, but if we don't get it, that's not that big of a deal. These rosters are pretty much up to date with the Derrick Williams trade to Sacramento. Other than that, the only problems I see is with the Phoenix Suns. They have a Mecca Okafor, yes, but they also have Shannon Brown, Kendall Marshall, and Malcolm Lee on their team still, so uh, it's not perfect. We do, I believe, two trades in this episode, and we do another two trades in the following episode I've recorded. Now right here, we're trading away Robin Lopez, Myers Leonard, uh, I believe Earl Watson too, for Amir Johnson and Tyler Hansborough. Both of these players I'm trading for will not be on my team for probably not the next episode. They will play the first game except for Tyler Hansborough who's being traded right now as you guys can see with Wes Matthews for Jordan Crawford and Chris Humphreys. I am going to get a decent uh, center in my next episode. You guys will have to wait to see that. But without further ado, let's get right into the gameplay, into the second half. I know, the second half. I had an amazing first half, but sadly, my new Elgato gaming capture device decided, hey, uh, I'm just not going to record the entire first half for you and just have a black screen there. So that, that really sucks. I had an amazing block and a dunk on the other end. I blocked Gerald Green's dunk with Mo Williams, and then I passed it all the way over to the other side of the court for Darrell Wright to get the dunk. That was... That was the highlight of the game, and sadly, I can't I can't show it to you guys because, well, Elgato. Elgato isn't the best capture card, in my opinion, but, I mean, it gets the job done, I guess. At least I can record Xbox One footage for you guys now. Let me know in the comments what you guys think about the quality. I know it's not the best quality, uh, especially when you're playing the game and actually watching it on YouTube. It looks a lot better when you're actually playing it. It looks more clear, crisp, and now when I record with Elgato, it leaves like a gray haze when I put it in Sony Vegas. The Hapag HD PVR that I had also did that, but this one leaves a much like sporadic haze and it's it's annoying. So I had to put brightness and contrast levels on it along with color correction. You guys probably can't even tell because I do it to all my videos to make it look a little bit better than everybody else's. <laughs> also, there is no audio in this gameplay or the next two episodes. There will be no actual gameplay audio. I don't know if that bothers you guys, but if you guys want in-game audio just tell me uh, I can't really record and have audio on at the same time considering I have my headphones on and it just messes up my music and it's terrible but I will change it so it can have audio if you guys want it to when I record other than that uh, I'm gonna keep this completely interactive with you guys as possible just like all my other associations that I failed miserably at doing I'm really going to try to take you guys' uh, criticism into effect and add it to my gameplay and the way I play the game. If you guys don't leave comments, that's perfectly fine with me. I'll continue to play the way I'm playing. But it's always nice to have a little bit of interaction with you guys to make the series better and more enjoyable for me to make and more enjoyable for you guys to watch as well. And Wes Matthews, I would have loved to have him on the team, but I just I don't like his release in 2K games. No matter how much I try to play with him, it's just like, I can never get it down on spot. I mean, he's an extremely underrated shooting guard and is a pretty good one at that in real life, but not in 2K games for some odd reason. In the future, it will be very difficult for me to, you know, have everyone on the team 
happy with the roles. I know in this game, after this game, Amir Johnson wasn't so happy with the role I gave him coming off the bench. He wanted to be a starter apparently because his morale was decreasing and all that. So, you know, I ended up trading him because I don't want unhappy guys on my team. Uh, that will be one of the main problems I'll be coming across as I go further in this association. But another, nothing a little VC can fix. I know you could sit down with the players and pep talk them, but uh, it's going to cost some VC. I don't know how I feel about that, but got to do whatever's right for the team, I guess. The one bright spot I had on my team was Alan Crabb. CJ McCollum, he's supposed to be like my sixth man coming off the bench 24 minutes per game. Uh, he, didn't really, he wasn't really productive with the team. The rookie that was productive was Alan Crabb. He made eight points in like two minutes of the game. That's, that's crazy. I'm definitely going to be putting him in the rotation a lot more trading pieces so that he could actually you know get a little bit shine and a little bit more minutes and that's about it that's the game i went up against the phoenix suns uh four minute quarters on pro difficulty i don't know if you guys want me to raise it up or decrease it i remember when i first started playing uh the game pro was insanely difficult for me i was losing every single game i played but uh, now i guess i got a little bit more accustomed to playing pro if you guys want me to raise it up tell me in the comments if you guys have it fine at pro just don't say anything i guess it was pretty much a blowout on my half i mean I guess because I'm going against the disadvantaged Phoenix Suns team. But the next game, I am going to go up against the San Antonio Spurs. And if it's anything like real life, we should have the easy win against them. So I really hope you guys enjoyed. And I'll be happy to bring in more MyGM content to you guys in the future. Along with next gen uh, games I require. Such as maybe Dead Rising 3 or whenever a big title comes out for the Xbox One. So I'll talk to you guys later. Bye bye.